So once you have the whiteboard open, there are a lot of tools that will appear at the top. Um, so I just want to kind of run through these tools so you're familiar with what you can do. Um, the one that may be um, the most useful is this text tool. And what this does is anywhere that you click on the screen, it will create a text box. Um, so you can um, use this format feature to change the color. So using format. Um, and you know, if you have um, more than one, whoops, <laughs> if you have more than one student in your class, um, you can um, have each student use their own color and that way um, you can see very clearly oh this is what I'm texting this is what the student this is what I'm writing this is what the student is writing um, each in their own color or if you want to use um, you know the colors to highlight different things you can do that you can also change the size of the lines or um, the font that you're using as well so if you want to bold something whoops um, if you want to bold something, then you can come in here into format and, and bold bolds the whole text box. Um, the draw feature, you can draw curved lines or straight lines, um, circles or squares. You can also, um, with these kind of transparent looking ones, um, you can highlight specific words in order to do kind of a transparent shape um, to highlight things. Um, one thing that's kind of interesting is this spotlight tool. You'll see that um, around my mouse now I have that little red halo and that'll just help your students see very quickly if I want to point to a specific word with my mouse. It just makes it a little bit more visible. Um, next to the spotlight is also this arrow which if I have a line or something something that I want the students to pay attention to um, it will move that arrow everywhere that I click. If I make a mistake and I don't want something, I can click the eraser to get rid of it. If I change my mind and say that I wanted it instead, I can undo or I can redo. Um, and then, um, you know, say if I wanted to, to clear my drawings, um, I, can, I have the option to either clear all, all of the drawings that are on the page, um, clear just my drawings or clear the students drawings if, if just the student has drawn things and I just want to get rid of what they did. So I have a few options here for clear. Um, so if I clear all drawings you can see everything disappears. Um, but say we've done some good work here in the whiteboard and I want to save what we've done. You can click save and you'll see that your whiteboard was saved. If you click show in folder it'll open the file and then that file will be there ready for you to access um, anytime that you want to refer back to it.